you can tell me uh, about yourself okay so um, as you know my name is bob right now i am looking for a front end uh, developer tool i also learned front end and uh, i have uh, good knowledge of uh, html css tailwind css uh, javascript react and uh, i started learning typescript or uh, typescript also just few days back so that's it i have also created some uh, projects on react and js also mm. so you have good knowledge with uh, the react js right yeah okay okay so uh, what i will do i will first start uh, asking the questions from the um, javascript then i will move to the react js okay 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 just uh, just just a second yeah okay okay bro. so i'm sharing you one question here in your chat box yeah, can you share your screen okay okay let me share my screen okay it is visible and mm, it, it's loading okay yeah uh, can you open the chat box okay yeah so just tell me the output of this thing uh, this course in yeah one by one what will be the output okay so uh, the second one will be uh, like zero okay the third one will be fourth the uh, second one will be zero because this uh, this uh, minus minus operator convert the convert the string into number and then it will perform the uh, subtraction mm -hmm. and and then in case of third this mm -hmm. uh, this sub, uh, in case of third the, uh, the plus operator will perform two into string so it will be uh, 22 and in case of first mm -hmm. the the as i have no the minus uh, subtraction subtraction operator performs the operand into uh, like a number first so so i think it will be none and none uh, 0 and 22 uh, of a string is yeah, be that, a that's perfect <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, can you tell me about the event loop okay event loop so uh first of all for the event loop i will tell you like uh, so event loop there is a like a call stack okay, okay. Uh, there there is a there are there are there are two queues call uh, callback queue or we can say the event queue uh there is another queue called a micro task queue and there is a loop this event loop so these all things are provided by the uh, javascript runtime whether it is a browser or it is a node environment so mm -hmm. these all four things are provided by uh, browser runtime or node runtime okay mm -hmm. so so suppose there is a function okay we are suppose there is a function and uh, and there is a set timeout function and mm -hmm. there is a promise promise function already resolved promise okay mm -hmm. so and uh, we are calling the function first that is printing simple a and mm -hmm. set timeout is printing b and uh, that promise is resolving with the value of the, uh, the value of c okay so mm -hmm. so we are calling this one by one so the call stack does what every fun uh, every function uh, that we call for that function a mm -hmm. execution execution context is created and that goes into a uh, that, that goes into the call stack okay mm -hmm. one by one then that then that when function is that function is executed mm -hmm. after the execution that execution contact context is uh what's say uh popped outside from the call stack okay so mm -hmm. in case of the asynchronous task like asynchronous apis like set timeout timers uh mm -hmm. dom apis these these apis are first goes into uh, goes to the runtime and mm -hmm. from that runtime the, from runtime then those goes into the event queue or we can say the, or we can call event queue or callback queue okay and mm -hmm. after the callback queue do uh, those uh, the event loop comes into the place this event loop cons constantly checks the call stack whether the call stack is empty or not if okay, the so call stack yeah so suppose in call stack uh, there are two things uh, one is a uh, promise and uh, uh, the second one the second thing is uh, set timeout so okay. which one will be executed first the promise will be executed first because the promise suppose the uh, promise uh, promise are goes into the micro task queue and set timeouts are goes into the event queue 
and call and um, event loop gives priority to the micro task queue first yeah yeah that's correct okay uh, do you know about the higher order function yeah higher order function are the function those accept a function and or return a function inside of that function okay like so if there is any example that map map is a higher order function that it accepts a callback function map filter that groups yeah correct correct okay <laughs> let's move to the next question uh, oh, uh do you know about the prototypes in javascript yeah so the in javascript there is a default constructor mm -hmm. default object constructor and from that constructor there is a default object is created by default and that object is known as prototype that object is by default is uh, connected to a object called null okay so mm -hmm. suppose suppose we we have created any object created a object then that object will uh, will be linked to the link to the our default prototype object that is already created and that like like, like that default prototype object is like connected to the null linked mm -hmm. to the null so for example uh, suppose i have defined a function constructor okay from okay. that fun uh, from that constructor function i uh, created a i created two objects mm -hmm. so for that constructor function a prototype will be created a prototype object will be created okay that prototype object will be connected connect uh, will be linked to the all will be linked to all of the object that i that i have created from that constructor okay, okay. so it works as a inheritance right yeah yeah in java javascript is a prototypal based language yeah okay that's fine uh, can you explain me about the this keyword how this keyword works in javascript okay so this keyword in javascript is uh, like always refer to your like calling side like mm -hmm. like uh, suppose the inside a function mm -hmm. inside a function in in global space this keyword if we control this this will refer to the window object inside an object method mm -hmm. if we control this there this, this will refer to the owner object inside a, in strict mode inside a, uh, mm -hmm. a inside regular function in global space this will be undefined and there are more cases of this like inside object med, uh, 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 one case is arrow function so mm -hmm. arrow function does not have their own this so inside arrow function this will point to the parent object is code okay yeah so, that yeah. okay now let's move to the uh, react js questions okay. okay so can you tell me some advantage and disadvantage of react js advantage and disadvantage of react okay so first of all uh, react uh, developing a web app with react is a faster is like time it takes less time than creating any uh, any website with vanilla js vanilla mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and also uh, creating react uh, react app is a must uh, is a much faster than like vanilla js project okay so what makes react js faster so, can you give an example okay so internally uh, suppose in uh, say vanilla javascript project we when we make any changes so mm. uh, we make changes uh, to, uh, to in the dom directly mm -hmm. and uh, for every change in the dom the mm. the web the website loads every time but in react react does what react created a, a copy of the original dom in the memory and that copy is known as the virtual dom and mm -hmm. whenever whenever we make any change in in our pro in our like component on mm -hmm. state so react uses a like diffing algorithm to come to mm -hmm. for comparison to in the current virtual dom and the previous virtual dom mm -hmm. and that and any change and, and it tries to make minimal changes to the mm -hmm. uh, to the actual dom so this whole process is known as reconciliation so this makes react fast and also like we can, they are also technique uh, they are also other techniques 
by using we can make like react to f much faster yeah that's correct answer okay so actually that was a, a expected answer any disadvantage you know disadvantage is you know uh, like in react js uh, to make it fully functional uh, we need to use the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, i i got it i got it so react is in a is a library no it is not a framework so for routing we have to install like another package router react router dom for the state management we have to install redux so mm-hmm. it is not a complete like package it is not a framework so for creating a full fledged react project we have to install like many packages many other packages yeah yep. like in next js routing is mm-hmm. already there so okay uh, that's good okay let's move to the next question yeah uh, can our browser understand uh, can our browser read uh, jsx directly no 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 browser uh, didn't understand uh, jsx browser like uh, there is a compiler or we can say engine with like babel babel converts the jsx into javascript object and browser mm. understood these objects javascript objects right right uh, have you used the middleware with the redux yeah 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 middleware is thunk and logger redux thunk and redux logger logger is for logging like logging the current state logging any value in. and uh, and thunk thunk is for like a uh, performing any asynchronous task suppose suppose i am dispatching in synchronous section mm-hmm. and i want to i want to dispatch an action dispatch an action but but before before that dispatch i want to fetch some data and after fetching data i want to dispatch that data mm-hmm. so this i can't do with like normal dispatch function for this i have to uh, this the redux thunk middleware is is coming to picture it does what so it does uh, instead of uh, dispatching the normal uh, dispatch function we dispatch the thunk function and inside thunk function we make the api call and and after mm-hmm. making fetching data we dispatch the the data inside of the uh, what's a thunk function to the reducer so mm-hmm. the, yeah. so basically um, uh, what middleware does it intercept the uh, action that when we dispatch before it uh, reaches to the yeah yeah okay let's move to the next question uh, yeah so can our component react js component re-render without calling set state re-render is there any our... other way to uh, reload our react js component except uh, set state okay so without set state so we can so when we like dispatch function like if we using dispatch function when we update the state react will component with the without, without updating the state without updating the state uh, i think uh, i think no <laughs> you must be knowing it okay let me tell you uh, you know about the keys we provide right yeah 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 so what it does keys actually suppose we, when we are like rendering the list element so the uh, we pass key as an attribute to that uh, to every list element so that react remember which key is deleted and which new key is added and which key is updated so it this makes rendering faster yeah so we if we make the changes on the keys as a uh, while passing the data as a prop so it will be re-rendered okay okay right okay do you know about the life cycle methods in react js okay. i know but i didn't work on the class component so like there is a uh, component uh, did mount component did update and component will unmount hmm. so those things we uh, we can also implement in uh, functional based component right yeah so how we can uh, achieve it? by by using use effect like when hmm. the the when the component loads for the first time so use effect then automatically automatically okay so this 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 is component it mount so whenever whenever we pass a use effect except except an argument and second argument as an array which we call dependency array mm-hmm. so whenever whichever and that inside that dependency array we pass the state or the props and whenever those state or props change so use effect run again mm-hmm. so this is the basically component it update and uh, there is a return function 
the return function is also known as cleanup function so whenever the component the uh, component mounts unmounts so that that cleanup function runs yeah yeah that's correct answer thank you